Hello everybody and welcome back to the Modern Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customising this. It is the Karen Viviante in GTA Online. <laughs> So this thing was added as part of the new Chop Shop DLC in GTA Online. Uh, let's have a quick look at it on the website. Uh, it's on Southern San Andreas. It costs $1.6 million, which is quite expensive for basically an SUV, um, or maybe you call it like a people carrier or something. It is, uh, it is a Karen vehicle, so it's based on some kind of Toyota like minivan. Um, I'm not actually sure what it's based on. It doesn't look great in my my opinion. <laughs> it's uh, quite a hideous looking car. But it does have some customization. So let's go and check that out and see what kind of performance this thing has. Right, so here we go. We're in the custom shop. Um, I forgot to mention this thing does actually have like a hybrid feature. So it's sort of electric up until like 30 miles an hour and then the actual normal like petrol engine kicks in which i don't know if there's any other cars Do like that in gt online Bubbles i think maybe the prius thing that i can't even remember the name of it in gta the dilettante is it i think um i think that's the only other car that has that which is quite cool um if you like that sort of thing but let's go ahead we'll fully upgrade it we'll see Get what kind of performance it has i'm not expecting great things out of it to be honest um, so let's have a quick look at the front bumper options. It has this massive grill on the front. It kind of looks like the, I'm guessing this is like the GR style. A lot of the new Toyota GR vehicles have these big open grills. Um, so we got the stock grill. Okay. I was Whatever not expecting that. Have. We can go for a Technology chrome bull bar. We got a plastic bull bar. Uh, we got the chrome rally raid bull bar. A plastic version of that. We've got the chrome bull bar 2 and a plastic bull bar 2. Um, so these are all like off road customization on this thing, which is a bit odd. Uh, if you can think it, I hmm. can do it. I don't really know whether I'd want to make this thing into an off road vehicle. Uh, rear bumpers, we got the stock rear bumper. You had a chrome bumper bar. We got the plastic reinforced bumper, chrome reinforced bumper, plastic sport bumper, and a chrome version of that as well. So lots of like beefy off-road customization for what is Making not really is designed to go off-road. Like I would not take this thing off-road. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll have a little look at the exhaust. So as is a little pea shooter standard, we go for an oval exhaust. Uh, sorry, we got custom exhaust, then we got the oval exhaust, we got the side facing exhaust, titanium tip, we got the double custom exhaust, that actually looks hard. quite good. Uh, we got the double oval, the double outward facing, and double titanium. I'm going to go for the dual custom one because it kind of looks stock, but like a sporty version of the stock, which I like. Uh, grill options, we got the stock grill. We can go for a plastic horizontal. So if you want to remove all the chrome, you can, which is good, because I'm not a fan of that chrome. Uh, we can go for a chrome horizontal. That is absolutely hideous. We've got a secondary horizon grill. We got a plastic vertical grill. A chrome version of that. Life is hard we've when got you can a have secondary anything. version of that. And then we've got the honeycomb in plastic, chrome, and secondary. Uh, not really a huge fan of the honeycomb one. I think we're going to go with this one in plastic. Plastic horizontal grill. Sorry, I was saying horizon grill. Horizontal grill. Um, the hood options. No rush uh, so we've got the stock hood. We've got the primary side vented. That looks like... It looks like it has eyebrows, to be honest. It kind of looks like red the like bird from angry birds now um we've got a secondary version of that and a carbon 
We've got a twin vented in the middle. That still looks ridiculous, but it's more fitting. It looks a bit better, to be honest. Uh, we got a secondary version of that and a carbon. Then we got the sports hood in primary, secondary, and carbon. Uh, then we got the double vented. That's the like best. It, it kind of looks stock again, but it's kind of like the sporty version of the stock. It's, it's like the GR, basically, Do if it was a, a real Toyota. Uh, we got that in secondary and carbon as well. Oh my god. We've got the primary scoop hood. That just looks ridiculous, in my opinion. We've got that in primary and secondary and carbon. Then we've got the primary GT hood. I actually quite like that. That looks pretty good. It's Whatever the it's the desire. like technology. It's the nicest know. looking upgraded hood. And we got a secondary version of that and a carbon. I'm gonna go for the primary version of that. I think that looks pretty good. good. I like that it has a couple of vents on there. It makes it look a bit sportier, but it's not too crazy. Um, we've got all the lights and horn options, which you can get on every car. Mirror options next. We've got these massive, like, plastic, black plastic mirrors standard. You can get them in chrome, if you want to make it chrome. You can get them in primary, secondary, and in carbon as well. I'm just going to paint them primary, it, so they're not as obvious. I, I wish there was an option to make them smaller, because they're massive. But, yeah, at least having them in primary, it makes them a little bit, like, you don't notice them as much. Something I did just notice is the door handles on the car. Don't know how well that's coming across on the camera. Um, but the door handles are secondary colour option. So the red is obviously primary and the door handles stressful. are orange, which is the secondary colour. So that's interesting. Um, plate options. If you haven't seen any of the other vehicles that I've customised, you can now change the plates to uh, green and red which is cool. So there's a Sprunk one and an Ecola one, which are new in this DLC, which is quite cool. Uh, we'll come back to the respray at the end there, um, but there is a primary and secondary option, which we've already discussed. We can go ahead and put a roll cage in this thing if you want to. A people carrier with a roll hard. cage, that's quite amusing. Um, I'm not going to go for that because I'm not a fan. Roof accessories, we've got the stock roof. It does have these kind of roof bars on it already. And it does have a little sunroof. We can get those roof bars in chrome. Uh, we can go for a large roof rack. Okay, we can get them in plastic. We can get the roof rack with the bars. Life these lights are in the way, are super annoying. We've got a roof box in primary, secondary. And then we can go for a wooden surfboard and a painted surfboard. I'm just going to leave it. Not really a fan of any of those. I wish there was an option to remove those bars because I'm not really a fan of them. But sadly, no. Uh, skirt options. Let's see what we've got in here. So we've got uh, plastic side skirts. No Russian. So I think standard, they're like black. You can make them plastic. You can make them primary, secondary, and carbon. Then we've got the street skirt in carbon, secondary... Oh, in carbon and secondary, as it turns out. We've got the plastic sport skirt. That actually looks quite good. I like that. Um, and we've got that in primary, secondary. And then we've got plastic again? running steps. Not a fan of those. Oh, and we can get them in chrome. That is hideous. We've got them in primary as well. Uh, we've got plastic slat side steps in plastic primary and chrome um i quite like this one the sport skirt in Do you need plastic a drink? so we'll go Bubbles with that or something? spoiler options we can actually get spoilers on this thing which is quite funny so it does kind of have a little spoiler standard um you can what the hell is that okay we can get a carbon flat spoiler <clears throat> It's so awful, I'm losing my voice. Um, we can get the carbon arch spoiler, Whatever which actually bolts onto like the Technology normal one, which looks better. You get a secondary version of that. And then we've got an actual 
like what I would call an actual spoiler, which still looks ridiculous on a people carrier. We got that in carbon. We got that in the the large aero spoiler. Uh, we got that in secondary as well. Then we got the carbon street spoiler. If you can think it, in I can carbon do it. secondary, and then we got the carbon sport spoiler, and we got that in secondary as well. We got the carbon competition spoiler, and we've got that in secondary as well. Um, I think this is the best looking one, but I think it needs to be. It's in secondary right now, but I'm going to paint it the same colour as the body, so it matches a little bit better. I think that'll look quite good. Uh, we do have suspension options on this thing, which is nice to see. Uh, so, let's see. It's not a massive drop, but it looks better. It certainly looks more sporty, if you can make a people carry a sporty. Uh, wheel options, we've got these hideous chrome wheels. Right, I found these ones. They're in the... Uh, street category and I painted them black and they actually they, they kind of suit this as an SUV um, they're kind of sporty looking especially in black and then we'll go ahead and like tint it black as Body well the and then driver. I'm gonna have a little look for a nice color for this thing so I decided to go and paint this thing white I think it looks quite good in white I think Toyota's in white in general look pretty good and I painted the secondary which was the door handles, any secondary colour options, like the spoiler as well. Uh, so they're all in body colour white. And the spoiler actually looks quite good now. Now it sort of matches all together. So that is the customization. Let's take this thing outside and have a little look Life how it performs. Alright, here we go. So we're outside. It actually doesn't look terrible now that we've customised it a bit. Painted it white, we've got some black wheels, it looks quite sporty, especially with that spoiler as well, which actually blends in quite nicely now. Um, it is rear wheel drive, for those of you who don't know. Um, if we rev it, it is also front wheel drive, because of the like hybrid. So as we're driving it around now, it is like in electric mode, and if you put your foot down, the normal like electric motor kicks in so it is a hybrid which is quite cool whoops <laughs> um it's not the most sporty thing what category is this thing in actually it's an suv okay um so i don't think it's going to be winning any suv races there are certainly better options in that category even with all the upgraded features it's still pretty slow I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm actually curious. Let's quickly open all the doors on this thing. Okay, so the doors actually like slide open, which is quite cool. They are the rear doors anyway. Um, it is only a four-seater. It would be quite cool if we could get a six-seater. Because it is supposed to be like an S It's supposed to be like a people carrier, right? So normally you would be able to get people in the back, like in the boot, in real life. So it would have been quite cool if this was a six seater. Let me know what you guys think of this vehicle. Are you going to be buying it? Personally, not a huge fan. I've never really been a fan of people carriers to begin with. But there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video.